For almost 80 years now, American presidents have been speaking to the National Scout Jamboree, a gathering of tens of thousands of young Boy Scouts from all over the world, eager to meet and greet, as well as absorb the ideas of citizenship, service, and global diplomacy from the President of the United States. Now, a Scout's honor has always been to stay far, far away from partisan politics, a tradition that eight presidents have respected, and President Donald Trump indicated that he would follow that tradition. Yeah, not so much. Instead, Trump used his privileged platform to stand before all 40,000 of the eager, youthful generation and brag about his record crowd size while bashing President Barack Obama, criticizing the fake media, and trashing Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. In the lengthy 35-minute speech, the so-called leader of the free world also threatened to fire his Health and Human Services Secretary if he couldn't persuade members of Congress to vote for the Republican health care bill. Who the hell wants to speak about politics when I'm in front of the Boy Scouts, right? A Secretary of Health and Human Services, and he's doing a great job. And hopefully, he's going to get the votes tomorrow to start our path toward killing this horrible thing known as Obamacare that's really hurting us. So. By the way, you're going to get the votes? He better get them. He better get them. Oh, he better. Otherwise, I'll say, Tom, you're fired. I'll get somebody. <laughs> you know, I go to Washington, and I see all these politicians, and I see the swamp, and it's not a good place. In fact, today I said we ought to change it from the word swamp to the word cesspool or perhaps to the word sewer, but it's not good. By the way, what do you think the chances are that this incredible, massive crowd, record-setting, is going to be shown on television tonight. One percent or zero? The fake media will say, President Trump smoke uh, — and you know what this is. President Trump spoke before a small crowd of Boy Scouts today. That's some — that is some crowd. Fake media, fake news. By the way, just a question. Did President Obama ever come to a jamboree? At one point, he told a rambling story about a conversation he had at a New York cocktail party with a once successful home builder who lost his momentum. The word momentum. I'll tell you a story. That's very interesting for me. When I was young, there was a man named William Levitt, Levittown. You have some here, you have some in different states. Anybody ever hear of Levittown? And he was a very successful man, became unbelievable. He was a home builder, became an unbelievable success and got more and more successful. And he'd build homes and at night he'd go to these major sites with teams of people and he'd scour the sites for nails and sawdust and small pieces of wood. And they'd clean the sites so when the workers came in the next morning, the sites would be spotless and clean. And he did it properly. And he did this for 20 years. And then he was offered a lot of money for his company. And he sold his company for a tremendous amount of money, at the time especially. This is a long time ago. Sold his company for a tremendous amount of money. And he went out and bought a big yacht. And he had a very interesting life. I won't go any more than that because you're Boy Scouts, so I'm not going to tell you what he did. <laughs> Should I tell you? Should I tell you? Oh, you're Boy Scouts, but you know life. You know life. The moral lesson these Boy Scouts had to take from this was, you have to know whether or not you continue to have the momentum. And if you don't have it, that's OK. Because if that's not inspirational, I don't know what the hell is. You might as well put that on a Hallmark card. Throughout the speech, Trump dropped in praise for the moms and dads and troop leaders and thanked the scouts for upholding the sacred values of our nation. The speech has drawn criticism from former Bo Boy Scouts and current scout leaders alike, with some comparing it to one of Trump's political rallies. Many took to Twitter to voice their opinions. Chris Murphy says, as a scout leader, my stomach is in knots about what Trump did today. If you haven't watched it yet, don't. It's downright icky. 
Michael Moore says, I'm an Eagle Scout. Trump using the 30,000 Boy Scouts as his props tonight was a scene out of the triumph of the will. Shocking abuse of children. Ted Ginnaway tweeted, as Scouts, we were taught to never make our service about politics. Scouts are not supposed to appear in uniform at political events. He followed up with, and yet Trump saw fit to turn the largest gathering of Boy Scouts into a political gathering, as if they had come together only to see him. This is yet another example of Trump ignoring the custom that past presidents have observed in such public ceremonies. Trump doesn't care for the younger generation or whether or not they are successful in life. He is only looking out for number one, himself. America has values to uphold, and normalizing this type of behavior from a president will not be acceptable. I'm Zara Shadi, and this is Content Dawn News, your destination for news that's always real.